Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Ethan Keaton, Technical Marketing Manager here at Graylog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Graylog on CentOS. Before we get, begin, let's go over some of the required packages. That includes Mongo version 5, OpenSearch version 2.3, and Graylog version 5. And we're going to be installing in that order. So let's go ahead and get started and install Mongo. So for Mongo, what we're going to do is first create the repo, install, start, and verify service. Okay, now we're connected to the CentOS box. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I I went ahead and I copied and pasted the syntax so we can save some time. So this is the uh, Mongo repo we've created. And um, let's go ahead and install. I will be pausing the video as this installation can take a little long uh, to install. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pause right now. Okay, now we have Mongo installed. So let's go ahead and uh, restart the, the daemon and let's get the service started. Now let's go ahead and enable it. Uh, make sure that Mongo will restart after a reboot. Let's go ahead and start the service. And let's do a verification that it did load. Okay, the service did load, and then let's verify the Mongo version. All right, so there we have it. We have Mongo version 5.0.4 installed. Let's go ahead and move on to the next installation. You may prefer to disable transparent huge pages to improve performance before installing. For open search, we're going to download and install the package. You can go to open search's website and download the 2.3 um, RPM. Then we are going to, after the install, we're going to edit the open search.yaml file. And then last, we're going to start and verify the open search service. Okay, let's get this open search installed. So I went ahead and I downloaded the um, RPM. Again, to save some time, so let's go ahead and install it. And after we're done installing, we're going to uh, be editing the opensearch.yaml file. Okay, so that's done. Now let's go ahead and edit the file. And what we will be changing here, we'll be changing the cluster name. Uh, let's name this instance Raylog. We will also be changing, let's verify the first, let's verify the paths. Good. Um, and now let's change the network parameter. We're gonna set. And let's change uh, the discovery. So this is a single node install 
um, that we're doing right now. So we're going to set this set this discovery type to that. So it's discovery dot type and then single node. Um, and then we're going to add. We're going to set this as action auto create index false and then we're going to disable the plugins that are right above plugins security okay there we go All right, so one of the things that I like to do after making a file modification is just to verify. So, yep. so. All right, so let's see what we have here. Um, okay, we're, there's our cluster name, paths that we want, the network ID, there's our discovery type against single node. Um, and then we have our two statements that we put in, the, the, the false statement for the index, and we disable the security plugin set to true. Okay, so all looks good there. All right. So now let's go ahead and we are going to start the service. Enable again, the same thing as before, make sure that open search will start on a reboot. Let's go ahead and start it. And now let's do a verify. All right, there we have it. So we have open search is loaded and running. All right, let's reload the system. And then let's make sure that uh, open search will start on our reboot. And let's go ahead and start it. Start it. And let's verify that open search did indeed start. Typo there. Active. There we go. Okay, so now we have open search is loaded. Uh, let's also make sure that we can connect to it on its appropriate port. So let's go to do a curl TP. Then we're going to do localhost. And then it's going to be on port 9200. All right, so there we have it. We have, uh, there's again, there's our cluster ID. Uh, cluster name, excuse me, that we named Graylog. Here's open search uh, version 2.3. It's up and running. All right. So now to the last piece, which is installing Graylog. Okay, the final piece.
installing Graylog. So first we're going to download the 5.0 RPM and then we're going to install Graylog. In this example, we're going to install Graylog as Graylog Enterprise and then we're going to edit the server.conf file, start and verify service. Let's download the RPM. I will be pausing the video as it does take a while for Graylog to install. All right, Graylog is installed. And before we can continue and get it started, we have to edit the server.conf file. And that file can be found in the Etsy Graylog server directory. What we're gonna do here is we're going to create two hashes, which is the password secret hash, as well as the root password hash. And the syntax can be found here as well as here. So let's go ahead and generate the password secret. Let's grab that, exit out. Okay, I'm going to grab this hash and set this aside. And now let's uh, create the password root password. Let me grab that side as well. Okay. First one is the password secret. Root. We got that all taken care of. Let's see. Okay. And one of the things I like to do is I like to uh, set the server to my local time zone. Uh, that's optional. Let's see what else is there. Uh, the HTTP line address. We're going to set that to the local, uh, the server's local IP. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start the service. First, let's do a reload. And then uh, and enable. So that a uh, gray log will start uh, in the event of a reboot. Start the service. Okay. And as usual, let's go ahead and verify. Okay, Graylog is loaded and running. And then let's also make sure that it's um, responding on port 9000. Which it is. Okay, now let's go ahead. Now that we got Graylog installed and started, let's go ahead and test everything. In the testing portion of this, we're going to first configure our syslog to uh, send on 1514. And then we're going to make some firewall modifications. And then last, we're going to verify the ingestion into Graylog. All right, let's get some data going into Graylog. So we're going to edit the rsyslog.conf file. Now, this is a format 
that Gridlock already understands, so there's no parsing that's needed. And we're going to be sending that traffic on port 1514. Okay, let's go ahead and restart our syslog. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to make some firewall modifications and we're, anything that's coming in on 514, we're going to redirect that to port 1514. So to make this faster, I'm going to go ahead and copy this syntax over. And that's for TCP uh, uh, 1514. And then we're going to do the same thing for UDP. And now we're going to do a reload. Okay, so we have our syslog configured and we have our redirect into 1514. So let's go ahead and go over into the GUI. All right, let's log in. And this is going to be the password that we had set in the server.com file. And before we get traffic going in, uh, we have to actually set up some inputs. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create an input. We're going to create a syslog UDP. But check global there, and we're going to title this uh, test UDP syslog. All right, and we're going to change. Let's change the port to 1514 because we did the redirect. Everything else is OK. Launch input. So this should start. OK, great. It already did. Up and running. And let's click over to search. If we, yeah, wow, we already got stuff coming already in. Um, so let's check this out here. And this is coming in on that uh, input that we just created, the test UDP, uh, test UDP syslog input. So there you have it. You have your Graylog installed on CentOS. So until next time, happy logging.